Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Danish and today we have with us the Huawei Mate X6. Uh, now this phone is uh, Huawei's foldable for the year. It is a stunning phone. Uh, I really like the uh, red back that we have on this. It's really nice that fall leather feel. But the thing that strikes you the most as soon as you get the phone is this body. Like it is solid. Like every time you fold and unfold, you can feel that nice build, which to me is the most impressive thing because for the last, uh, however long this has been released, the Honor Magic V3 has been my phone. And while it is super slim and light, uh, and it's got a great hinge, don't get me wrong, um, it, there is a bit of a lightness to the hinge. Now this could be wear and tear over time as well, oops. <laughs> but um, but the hinge on the Huawei just feels like the next level of hinges, let's put it that way, as this is a heavily evolving technology, but that's not what I've brought you here for. What I have brought you here for is how to install Google on the Huawei Mate X6. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward process. It's been around for ages, but I'd just like to show it to you on the phone itself. So let's jump right in. So um, what you need for this is you need these apps, Gbox and MicroG Services, MicroG Companion, right? So let's just um, install them, right? So we've got Gbox, MicroG Companion, MicroG Service, right? Let's get all these apps installed. So you open up Gbox, you agree, right? Now. The Play Store is already installed. You check on the necessary permissions. So obviously it needs uh, this. You can enable require permissions as well. All right, so once you're here, you've got all these apps that usually aren't available that you can now use. So let's, for example, um, get Gmail. Let me just sign in one second. All right, so there we are, logged in on my uh, Google account uh, on the Huawei Mate X6. Now I can very easily install all these apps that I need to right from the Play Store. Now another thing that you can do is also uh, allow that, obviously it'll ask that to allow to install an app, but another thing you can do is create a shortcut. So um, that should appear right over there. You've got Gmail as well. And now you can just click on and install any app that you require. Uh, for this. So let's say that we want, uh, if I go back to Gbox, let's say you want Instagram. There you go, just install it. Basically, all access uh, to the Play Store comes right from uh, Gbox, easy peasy, really easy to install, really easy to use. Every time that you will install an app, it will ask this and you can obviously click don't ask me again and that will just sort that out for you completely. But um, just to show you that Gmail is working, here you go. Um, it'll say to add a Gmail address, which I will do. Now this is where the micro G part comes in, right? So micro G is what's enabling those Google apps to work on uh, the phone. So let me just do a quick sign in here again. All right, so there we are, signed in and Take me to Gmail and there you go. We have all of that already set up and ready to go. Now, uh, one that people often ask me for is Google Maps. So let me just set that up. And in just about a sec, we should have Google Maps over there as well. Again, same thing. The installation source is Gbox. It'll show you that as well. And then you click on open and auto logged in as well. Um, click on allow while app is in use, give permissions, uh, access my location, location, all right. Allow while in use, allow all the time. And there we have it working. Uh, in case you wanna see if um, this works to another location, got it. And 
Google Maps in action over there as well. Now, apart from any of the Google apps that are there, we also have the other apps all on basically on Gbox that you can see here that usually aren't available on a Huawei device. So you've got access to all those. Now, another very important thing to keep in mind is that uh, Huawei's own app gallery is growing at an exponential rate, uh, which means that there are a huge load of apps that are already available. So now I'm going to speak primarily from the UAE itself, from Dubai and the apps that are pertinent to me. If you jump on into the app gallery, the first thing that comes up is these apps that are requested. One of them is Virgin Mobile which is a telecom provider over here. And obviously you've got your apps like uh, Shein and, and stuff like that as well. But like if I search for a very local app, right? Let's say for example, Noon. It's here, Noon Shopping is right there and available. As far as localized app building is concerned, it obviously will depend on where you are, whether it's the US, EU, etc. cetera. But, um, but on the overall, the app problem with Huawei isn't where it really used to be when all this fuss over Chinese apps and so on and all that stuff happened. So yeah, there you go. So using Google on um, these phones isn't difficult anymore. Uh, you're never gonna have a perfect experience if that's what you're expecting. It is going to be a glitchy one um, in my usage, uh, not on this phone, but on the previous Huawei I have. I, I, didn't, I didn't see that big, uh, let's say a different sort of problem. I, I thought it was okay. Um, you will face glitches, but that's sort of the sacrifice you're accepting because you're now a Huawei user, right? Uh, it's just the way it is. But apart from that, if there are any questions that you have about uh, using Google or a specific app that you want to see, please do let me know in the comments. I can always create a small little short clip about it or anything like that. Until then, uh, my name is Danesh Glaniwala. Uh, this is Dan Talks. I'm available across the board with the same username. So please do uh, look out on your favorite social media apps. But until then, have a good one.